whole idea of uh, renewable energy businesses and uh, the moving into electric vehicles started away from those my primary and secondary school days because I always uh, have passion in creativity, uh, making uh, things that will solve the problems our people are facing. So uh, I started by seeing how it, uh, with, the, with the situation of uh, energy uh, and the missing mm -hmm. power in our country, we know that uh, there's always a problem of electricity. So I now started exploring ways to see how we can generate electricity mm -hmm. and uh, use at home, offices and others. So, uh, I started by uh, inverter installations, designs and implementations for home usage right before, right in my secondary school time, uh, of which I continued and uh, uh, we registered our first uh, company mm -hmm. and also recently we moved into design and building of electric vehicles. Uh, just mm -hmm. as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are always focused on determining mm -hmm. and solving problems of the day. Uh, today you can see we have problems of uh, global warming. Everybody is talking about uh, issues of uh, emission, carbon, mm -hmm. carbon monoxide emission, talking about it uh, causing droughts, causing flood, and so many damages to the, to the world and to the environment. Uh, so, and also we are seeing prices of uh, petrol prices of power going up every day so we see the opportunity in uh, coming up into electric mobility which will solve both the problem of high cost of transportation and also uh, through that we can also uh, protect our environment uh, we started by building uh, electric tricycles uh, which we built the first prototype last two years uh, sorry last three years and uh, we were able to test and uh, it, uh, the test results were very positive. That's also made, led to building of more of these uh, uh, tricycles, which we have already deployed into use in some part of this country. Uh, most notably, uh, the ones at uh, the University of uh, Lokoja, and also some at Meduguri. Uh, uh, so from there, moving forward, we went ahead to also start uh, building buses. Uh, so we started by building a first prototype, which was done last year. Uh, the first prototype was a full conversion, or I would say transformation of a petrol-powered vehicle to a fully electric vehicle, which uh, was successful. And uh, that too, we were able to test, and the results tests were very positive. And uh, we went ahead and uh, took the vehicle to the National Automotive Design and Development Council, which uh, we were giving a little advice and orders to upgrade what we were doing. And uh, uh, we went ahead and started building few units to start operations. So, so far we have been able to build up to 10 units, which have already been deployed in Meduguri, in the domestic capital, uh, which have already yielded some very, very positive result. Uh, just last week, we marked uh, a full one month operations, of which we were able to record over 21,000 passengers. And uh, due to the fact that we are generating the energy using solar power to charge this vehicle, we were able to also charge the, 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 the commuters at a very affordable rate. Uh, when the price of fuel went up last few months, uh, transportation per drop also increased almost by 100%. Uh, instead of charging 50 naira, people are charging 100 naira. But with that technology of ours, we were able to maintain the cost of our transportation. So uh, to us, based on the calculations, we were able to save people over 1.1 million naira in just four months, in just a month. With, and with only 10 uh, seven seater buses. So when it comes to challenges, I would say, yes, uh, we have faced a lot of challenges. I would, I would, let me say categorize the challenges into three. Uh, the first one is, uh, you know, this is something that's never been done in the history of our country. Uh, this is something that uh, has limited, or I would say, no even technical 
know-how and uh, so you bringing it up or you starting it, I think uh, it comes with a lot of challenges and uh, we need to overcome that challenge, uh, most especially challenges in getting people who, who think the way you are thinking and who will come together and uh, make this your dream become realistic. So uh, with, uh, with Tango, we were able to form a team, a very robust R&D team, who we are able to come up with not only design to convert buses, but also to build buses from scratch. Uh, for me, a lot of people have really, really accepted what we are doing, not only from a degree, but uh, all over the world. We have received call, we have received recognitions, we have received uh, advises support from so many people and uh, as I'm speaking to you now we're already in talks to see how we can also scale up what we're doing and also to reach out to many communities uh, already we have uh, already uh, entered an agreement with a, a transport based company in Abuja and also in Lagos and some in the eastern part of the country to see how we can uh, replicate such uh, projects in their own places too Thank mm -hmm. you.